Shalom to everyone. Uh, thank the Most High for another day through His Son, Yesha, uh, through the Wabak, the Holy Spirit. Uh, I just want to get into a quick, random, I would say, video. I always say quick, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to get into. But I know for a fact that I'm going to get into those who tune into this channel and, uh, you know, really appreciate the videos. That's very encouraging. And uh, there was a particular comment, well, two particular comments that stuck out. So I thought I would put this out there for those uh, that, you know, like this channel. Uh, in reference to the information that I put out. So thank you all, bless you all, the water. And um, I will continue on this journey on making videos, especially the one that a particular person put out to say that, you know, you know, continue to make these type of videos. And, you know, because that video I made called Why Me is something that hit home for a lot of people. Uh, you think... <laughs> You get in the car crash, you're like, well, hold up, man, I wasn't even drinking, but I only drank one beer. And you get in the car crash, and then you got a DUI or something. You don't supposed to be doing stuff like that. A lot of us, man, I mean, I'm going to tell you this. Some people are supposed to be doing stuff like that. Sounds crazy, but yeah, they supposed to. The most high ain't dealing with them. So they supposed to get drunk and kill somebody. Okay, if it wasn't supposed to happen, then... It did happen, didn't it? So that's the reason why. Um, of course, that could sound a little, you know, a little uh, mean or whatever you want to call it. I don't really care, but that's true. I mean, if you continue to sin, constantly sinning and sinning, and then nothing happened to you, then you think at that time, then yeah, I mean, that's what you're supposed to be doing. You like to sin. Some people will tell you, I like to sin. I like to fornicate. I've talked to a few people that said that. I smile, give him a pat on the back, and say, bro, okay, man, hopefully you change. That's it. You got people that like to argue. Then if they love it, then that's what the most high that's what the most high allows Satan to do to them. Alright. Let me go to Isaiah 45 or 7. And I'll show you the reason why that's what the reason that's why they're doing what they're doing. Isaiah 45 or 7. Alright. The Most High says in Isaiah 45 and 7, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Now, people will say, well, why would the Most High create evil? And I'm, man, I pushed this out on a video before, and I got a, a comment of talking about uh, God don't create evil, Satan do. I'm going to read it again. Maybe that person that made that comment probably didn't really you know understand the scriptures it's very clear um i form the light i god form the light and create darkness god or i make peace and create evil evil I, the Lord, do all these things. So he created Lucifer to fall. That was his purpose from the beginning. The, mo the Most High is all-knowing. He knows everything. The problem with that is people don't can't grasp that. Do I know why the Most High did that? No, we don't suppose. We don't supposed to go by what we can understand at this point in this realm but I can understand how we react to certain things you got a perfect container That's I'm just going to use this you got a perfect container of cinnamon the cinnamon is intact it's perfect but yet you pull out some for something else to make a cake or something of that nature. So that perfect container of cinnamon, even though this is olive oil, I'm just using this as an example, it's not a perfect container anymore because it's some missing. But it was used for something else and gather other ingredients to make this cake. And I always use that as an example. I've done this before. So just look at the way we 
we act or the way we are as people when it comes down to it. People say, man, that's philosophical. No, it's just true. Just look at the reason. Because I get questions like that. Well, why would God do this? Why would God do that? I say, well, I'll answer it for you. Okay. You tripped and fall for a, re for a reason. You tripped and broke your nose for a reason. That had to happen for something else. To give. This This is, it's, everything is on purpose. You think it was an accident, but it wasn't. It was a purpose for that. Maybe you tripped and fall and broke your nose at that time so you can have time to not get shot. So you have to get up, move, do like this, and go to the hospital and the most high rerouted your route so you won't get in a fatal car accident or you won't get robbed and killed. That's the reason why you, you, you probably broke your nose. So that time frame, you had to use your body because remember these bodies are nothing anyway but dust. That's the curse. So you're going to be used now as something for something else to happen. Christ was on the cross. He died for our sins. He had to shed his perfect blood for our imperfection. So if you got a perfect container of cinnamon, it can't stay in that cinnamon form. It has to be used for, uh, for other things. And that's the way it is here. That's the only way you're going to understand the reason why God created evil. He's telling you he's created it. So he want us to realize, want us to figure out why he created it. That's the reason why. Think, just think about it. So, like somebody robbed you or whatever, they had to take something from you to build something in you that needed to be built. I tell people all the time, if it's always sunny outside, you will you will, you will eventually die. If your life is always going well, you will eventually die. Oh, you don't think so? Let me just give an example. Let's say 60% of Europeans make all the money. You ever notice when they lose their jobs? Because they rely on the world and resources and money. They used to kill themselves, right? That's all. I mean, hey, just look at what life is showing you. Then you'll understand the scriptures, okay? So I really didn't want to get into that type of meat type information, but I thought I would put that out there. But thank you all for tuning into this channel. Um, so. I will be making some more videos. I'm going to get into some information, and I guess I can put out a snippet. Um, I believe that the crime rate is going to go up. I don't know exactly where when it comes down to the Western world. I don't know they're going to really push out a lot of, uh, uh, I would say, proxies, um, you know, to give an excuse or try to, well, not proxies, excuse me, patsies, uh, to try to blame something on somebody to make because they're going to go after the guns more. Uh, that's not changing at all. Okay, so there you have it. I, like I said, I'm going to do more research on that and just make sure that my spirit is right on that information. Uh, but I just feel that, some, you know, some type of intuition that it's just going to get grimy or bad. You feel, you feel me? So there you, there you have it. Uh, I'll be making more videos, of course. Uh, this is my life, and I'll be doing this for the rest of it. Shalom.